Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Knowledge Circle. Today we will learn about cloud computing. You may have listened this word many a times, cloud. What is cloud computing? What is cloud storage? Let's store the data on cloud. You may have listened these words, but you don't know the truth behind it. What is the use of it and how it came into existence? We will learn today in this video. Okay, and if you are new on my channel, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification. So let's start the video. What is cloud computing? What is the meaning of this computing word? Whatever the task we do from computer is called computing. Whether we are searching any information, whether we are transferring any file, whether we are working on any software. Okay, all the work done through computer is called computing. Computing is not only related to calculation only. Computing is everything which is done from computer. What is cloud computing? How cloud comes in computing? So let's learn. You can see here, I have made a cloud and how other things are connected with the cloud. Cloud computing help us in different ways. It connects us with the database, it connects us with the computers, phones, storage, servers, everywhere nowadays cloud computing is used. So let's learn, let's understand what is cloud computing. I will give you a simple example which will help you to understand it very easily take an example of a private bus service suppose there is a company in india which is having a bus service which is providing us a bus service the company has a website company has a website on that website people can the people who wants to go to buses who wants to visit through the buses what they can do they can book their tickets online through the website of that company but sometimes what happens in the seasons when in the seasons of holidays or the festivals such as uh, holi diwali or any other big festival uh, the passengers increase the number of passengers increase and this creates a lot of traffic on the website it creates a lot of problems on the website the same time many web, uh, people log into the website and sometimes what happens the website get crashed and website doesn't respond and many people do not be able to log in and to book the tickets what are the solutions for this problem the solution of this problem is that that private bus company can take data storage ram and other important resources which is related to the website and computer it can be taken by the company on rent there are so many companies which provides you resources related to computer on rent like we also purchase so many things on rent if we talk about the marriages marriage which happens at our homes and relatives what we do we uh, we do not purchase everything we take on rent a lot of things are there which we take on rent from the tent house from many different people okay so everything is not purchased so for a bus company it will be very difficult to purchase lot of storage devices lot of big servers uh, to increase the ram but because they don't need it always they need it specifically only on the festivals when the website gets more traffic on those days specially when more people wants to uh, book the tickets only for those special days what company can do company can increase their ram and the server and the storage devices with the help of taking it on rent there are so many other companies which provides us cloud storage with the help of that what we can do we can increase the capacity of the website the capacity of the system and server which will not create any kind of traffic and website will run smoothly and each and every person will be able to book their ticket so this is what cloud computing cloud computing help us in many ways suppose if you want to store data 
on internet that can be stored through the cloud storage okay uh, like google drive google drive is an example of cloud computing it gives you 15 gb per account in one email id with one account 15 gb of data can be uploaded on google drive with free of cost without any cost if you want to increase your storage capacity, you need to pay money. You have to pay some amount. According to the amount, you will get storage. If you pay large amount, you will get large amount of information capacity where you can store your data. Okay, so not only it gives you the storage capacity, it also con uh, control mobile phones. It also provides the space for the server. Suppose there is a small company. Company is increasing its uh, business with the help of online websites. It's not easy for a company. It means the company can't afford to purchase big servers. Okay, so what company can do? Company can take the servers and the computer memory on rent with the help of cloud computing and company can expand their business okay it's nowadays it has become a trend to use cloud computing databases yes you can increase your databases for storing the data we need databases and databases may be in a large amount it can be in terabyte or it can be in peta or yottabyte also so it's not easy and it's not affordable for a newcomer or a new company to have this easily so they can take it on rent with the help of cloud computing you can take the server also so, so i think you all have got what i'm trying to say what the cloud computing means now i'm going to tell you what are the different types of cloud computing Let's talk about the different types of clouds the cloud has been categorized into four categories and that is public private community and hybrid First of all, we will talk about public cloud. As the name suggests, what is public cloud? Which is publicly accessible. Anyone can access it. Anyone can use it. There is no restriction. Okay. And what is private? Private cloud is restricted one. Suppose, take the example of Airtel company. Airtel company has made their own cloud and that cloud can only be used within their organization. Only the employees of the company will be able to use that cloud. So that is what a private cloud public is not able to access that. Even the Airtel users will not be allowed to use that because they are public. And the person who are working in the company, they will be able to use it and utilize it. They can create account on that. The third one is community cloud. It's a cloud where different kind of companies and organization comes together and they work upon it, they use it and they store their data and they utilize the different kinds of computer resources. That is what community where so many organization, multiple organization comes together and use it. Last one is what hybrid. Hybrid combines these both. Hybrid combines both. When a cloud which is sometimes becomes a public cloud and sometimes it becomes a private cloud okay in critical situ situations it works like a private cloud and whenever the situation is not critical when it is a non-critical condition non-critical situation it works like a public cloud so with this i have explained different types of cloud there are only four categories of the cloud okay now we will talk what are the advantages of cloud how cloud help us and nowadays why it is very very crucial for us let's talk about the advantages of cloud computing how cloud computing is important to us the first point lower cost yes if you have to purchase the same thing in a large amount if you if i say that you have to install a server which is double of your room you have to install more than 100 GB of RAM. If you have to install many computers, you need to purchase many laptops and systems. That is very costly. But if I say that, the same thing, you can get it virtually. No need to purchase it. A company, an organization will provide you all the facilities 
only on some cost only on some money that is what lower cost so your money will be saved and you don't need to worry about the maintenance of if you purchase storage devices if you purchase servers you have to maintain that you need persons you need so many engineers if anything happens if it is not working you have to get it repaired but if you purchase it as a cloud computing you don't need to worry about those problems the company will take care of it you have to pay only the rent of that that's why it is of lower cost improve performance your performance will be definitely better because when you add up cloud computing to your organization you will your capacity is increased nowadays you see that number of users on online system is increasing and it is increasing very very fast very very quickly that's why cloud computing becomes very important the role of cloud computing becomes very important in this case universal document access yes if you are using cloud computing wherever you are wherever you are in the world you can access your file only what you have to do you have to log in with your account you have to give your id and password and you can access it you don't need to carry the hard disk drives you don't need to carry pen drive and cd and dvd you don't need to carry any physical storage device your data is stored somewhere and you can access it from the any corner of the world next is unlimited storage capacity yes if you purchase any hard disk there will be a limitation 2 terabyte 50 terabytes 100 terabyte but it is up to you how much capacity of storage you wish to have you have to pay amount according to that if you increase your amount your storage capacity will be larger if you decrease your amount your capacity of storage will be lesser so you can have unlimited storage capacity as per your requirement easier group collaboration yes with the help of cloud computing a company may have different offices and different branches in the different places in the country and they all can collaborate they all can come together virtually and they can help each other to grow to develop to expand their business the last one there are so many advantages not the last one I have taken only few very important there are number of advantages of cloud computing you can find out device independence yes it is not particularly depending on any system it is independent that's why it is very very useful and fruitful it is not depending on any device so these are few very very important advantages of cloud computing I hope you all have got why cloud computing has become a very important part of online community and online business conclude this video with the disadvantages of cloud computing yes every good thing also has some disadvantages some demerits and and cloud computing also has some demerits okay so let's talk about the some demerits it requires a constant internet facility yes to utilize cloud computing you must have internet connection your internet connection should not be lost at any moment a constant internet connection is required so that's a big issue for us next is can't work with the low network speed your internet is not required only to be constant it has to be with a good speed if your internet facility your connection is not good then there is no use of cloud computing it requires a high speed connection stored data can be lost the data which is stored it is not like that you it will always be there that is also stored somewhere virtually in any hard drive in any server that can be lost also there is chance of losing normally it does not happen but it can be we can't deny that data can't be lost stored data might not be secure yes very important storing data on cloud means storing your information on internet on web and whatever the data is stored on the web it is not secure it is not secure it can be hacked okay there is a chance of hacking 
and losing of your information so these are some demerits of cloud computing in spite of having these some demerits cloud computing is very very crucial and important to us nowadays we can't live or we can't grow our business without the use of cloud computing and thank you so much everyone for watching this video and if you like it share it and subscribe my channel